it is quite a dusty job this MDF and I didn't actually have a mask on because I didn't have one with me it's not ideal no it's not ideal not even in the slightest um I do have masks, I've got loads and loads of masks, I've got lots that I um, work. The problem I have generally is I'm forgetful. I might have a workshop mask, I might have a van mask, I might have a mask for doing particular jobs on a particular tool, but I take a tool to a job and I forget the mask. It's generally what happens. So I've come up with a, a new way. 12 months ago, when I visited 3M, they gave me a whole load of these Aura 9. 332 masks. They're disposable masks, take them out of the packet, use them, bin them, and they're gone. And they're ace. They're not an everyday workshop um, solution, but they are absolutely spot on perfect for having in the back of the van and using when I forget my bigger masks. So now I've got no excuse for not being healthy. What I need is a storage solution for these so that the plastic bags don't get trashed. Again, about 12 months ago, I came up with a solution for that. Let's go see. It's not quite as neat as I would have liked and, you know, if I was going to do this again, which I'm not, because um, really with this I'm, I'm not actually bothered at all, um, I'd probably neaten that up a little bit better. I might even use the jigsaw to do a, a nicer curve on there, but the jigsaw's on site because I've been, it's the weekend and all my tools are um, safe on site and open in the workshop. So all I had was a coping saw. Um, but, you know, I really can't be bothered, to be honest. This is going to live in the back of the van. It's only ever going to be seen when the van is opened. Um, so it'll, it'll do what it needs to do. Now, because it's going to basically live outside, um, although undercover, um, I was going to put some um, water, basically watered down um, PVA glue, which is what pretty much MDF sealer is on here, just to stop it. Um, but I've changed my mind because I've just found I've got some shellac in here. Um, so I'm going to shellac the outside because this has been sitting around for ages. It's probably gone off anyway um, and it'll be quicker. And the brush is already in here so I haven't got to worry about finding a brush. So. Ugh.
as I said at the start of the video, I do several different types of masks, some from Trend Routing and some from 3M. I love them all for different purposes in different settings for different tools. Um, I would, however, love to know what you use in your workshop and for your respiratory protective requirements. So leave a comment and let me know. Let's get a dialogue going. If you're in, into the market for looking for masks, then it could well help you in the comments section finding out what other people use. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.